All right, Elite Co. 3, and today we're going to sift through another 500 card order. Um, this one shipped off early July. During this time period, I was doing a lot of uh, retro wax breaks, breaking a ton of boxes from mainly the 80s and I, I guess some 90s stuff as well. And then the cards were, you know, processed. I looked at them, found the best examples. Um, you know, there's also some cards that I picked up raw and submitted, but... Um, a lot of this stuff is older stuff, you know, low end stuff. One dollar cards raw, five dollar cards raw. So the boxes were not numbered this time. So this is the box. Um, typically, they'll have like a uh, for each five hundred card order. There's typically about twenty five or twenty six of these, and they'll write on it like you know box one of twenty five. But this one, they just shipped it like this. I'm I'm actually glad they got rid of the. I think they were doing like slab stocks promotions for a while there. But uh, here's the order. Um, and the, the cards aren't going to be by year or anything. So it's just going to be kind of random. But I mean, that's kind of how the story is sometimes. So we'll start off with, uh, it's going to be a 2002. So Ed Reed. This is actually a, a, a tough card to get in a nine, so a nine's awesome. And uh, something else about this order, it's uh, candid as well. I haven't seen the grades. Um, some of the subscribers and viewers were telling me just to do them candid, so from now on we'll just do them candid. That's good. Upper Deck Vintage Breeze and a ten. I think there's like five of these, so... Second ten. Yeah, this is all part of the grind, just going through package after package, um, vetting certain sellers. Here's the third one, so doing extremely well on these upper deck vintages. It's not the toughest set from 2001, but, but it is tricky. Chipping on these red, dark red corners often happens, and uh, centering becomes an issue too. So, um, here's a Quantum Leaf LT, and uh, nine's you know solid on this rock solid grade on this card. Probably it's probably worth about five dollars raw, and then you know you push it to twenty five, thirty, and a nine. Quantum, uh, <laughs> that was the last card. Bowman Chrome. So this is the Bowman Chrome Refractor. It is a superimposed image, but it actually looks in incredibly realistic. Um, it's most likely a uh, Vatek photo with the Falcon stuff photoshopped on there. But um, the Breeze just looks awkward because his face mask doesn't match the picture. So I've, I've never been a huge fan of the, the Breeze Bowman Chrome, even though it's a cool set. But but the Vic is sweet. So the Vic in a 9. Um, there's a couple more of these. This one got an 8. Must be something on the back. I might put that one in auction. And this one got an eight. So three tens and two eights. It's kind of weird. <laughs> we skipped from tens to eights. Eight's actually, you know, not a bad grade in, in this market. It's pretty good. Um, college greats preview auto from 2001 Ultra. That's LT. Pros and Prospects, PSA 9, Breeze. This is neat. This is the uh, the autograph one. So the, the first 125 copies, I think, it'll say A, and then it'll go up from 1 to 125. And then after that, 126 to 1,000, I think, are the unautographed copies. So... Kind of a cool feature that uh, EX did that year, 2001. So a nice, clean mint PSA 9 Vic Auto. Here's some hockey. We, we got the Patrick Kane's Young Guns in an 8.5. Crown. 
kind of a slightly faded auto. You know, if you sent this in to get graded and you graded the auto, it'd probably get an eight. But it doesn't look terrible. It's just not like a perfect bold auto. There's the numbering right there to 250. So a PSA nine on this one. I think there's there's a couple of these in this order. The second one got an eight. It's got some edge chipping on the back there. Tops Chrome, kind of a tougher set. They're often scratched. This one's uh, this one's got some rough center, and this one, yeah, this is an accurate grade. So PSA eight on the refractor. Th those those are nine ninety nine on the back. Let's see a second one, a second eight, and this is actually a pop one, and I I uh, happen to have the pop one. Um, in my collection that I, you know, I, I bought, a, I don't know how I got it. I, I, I probably got it graded, but, uh, I put it in the store at some crazy price just to see what happens. And then a third eight. So, I mean, that's pretty underwhelming on these. So I was hoping to get at least one nine on these. So top scrums and eights, uh, victory, Vic and a nine. Um, Bowman's Breast Breeze 8.5. Awesome card, awesome photo. And then, um, Tops Debut Vic. That's out of 8. 4.99 on the back. Um, on card auto, awesome photo. It's just a badass set. So. That was a 2001 box. Um, 2001, 2002, I guess. Here's some 89 stuff. This is the glossy. I guess it says the ad completely blacked out. This one got an 8. This, um, this card I was shooting for a 9, so... This one got a nine though. Yeah, I don't know. Third one, a seven, that's crappy. I'll probably put this one in auction. <sighs> Auctions typically for cards. I don't really care what they sell for. <clears throat> this is uh, respectable. I mean, these were all pulled from just a sealed set. So, Smolten a 9. It is it's pretty tough to get 10s on these glossies. Here's a Maddox in a 9. Pulled from a box set, uh, Maddox the rookies. I mean, these are tough. Maddox is in the the middle of the set. The top's McGuire and the bottom's Bo Jackson, I think. And he's somewhere in the middle, so his cards aren't as dinged up. But um, it's still difficult. But this Maddox looks sensational. So two nines on the Maddoxes. Um, I've got my sheet over there. I'll, after I shoot this segment, I'll take a look at the what PSA gave the the cards and what I had them as so those were like the cleanest Maddoxes I I pulled from probably 25 or 30 sets it's that tough 87 tops a lot of the older football cards are getting a lot of pub learning not pub but the market's pretty hot on these this is a pack pulled white in a nine which is pretty cool Reggie white nine here's some 88 um, Glavin the Fleer rookie Pack pulled Robbie Alomar. There's a couple. You know, cards like this are. That, that thing by his eye might be why I got a 9. See that? I mean, I think that takes away from the card too much to, to warrant a 10. Uh, this one doesn't have the thing by the eye, but it's still got a 9. It's got a little edging right there. 
So, junk wax is tough. Here's a Wade Boggs in a nine. Eighty eighty-eight tops Bosworth in a nine. <clears throat> Warren Moon gets a ten. And Reggie White gets a ten. That's sweet. This is the uh, Bo Jackson All Alone card. It's actually a uh, rookie card. You know, it's an it's an '88 tops card. At mint nine on that one. Um, recently passed away, Chris Dolman. You know, sending in cards I think are solid nines. Outside shot at tens on some of these. So Dolman gets a nice nine, and then uh, Joe Montana record. Breaker in a nine. These all probably came from the same box too. Eric Dickerson nine. Here's an eighty nine card, Griffey traded, which is like a what sixty seventy dollar card now. Just just pulled from a box set. Here's, here's some newer stuff. Um, Yelich Chrome, 2010 Chrome. Arenado in an 8, that's shabby. This one's heading right to auction. A little better, Arenado in a 9. That's, that's just the base Chrome. This is cool. Griffey. Uh, it's out of 170 there on the back. It's a uh, gold refractor. 2003 Bowman Chrome. So a uh, Chief PC card. But this is, the, this is the Spectrum, the 25. It's sick. 2003 SPX. Larry Johnson. He had some good seasons. Mid-9. This might be the platinum. No, it's a uh, season crowns. I was thinking eight five or so on this, but it got an eight. Season crowns auto. Stephen Jackson at two twenty five. This is an impossible set. That's a good grade for this. Wow. Uh, mint nine on the rivers. Rivers SPX. This I don't know. How I came across this one. It was probably a Beckett nine snap out. Star Rookie Limited, uh, Frank Gore, 2005, 9. Rogers. That's out of 799. Here's an Ultimate Frank Gore, that's sick. And a 10. Two twenty-five. Recently inducted, Calvin Johnson in a nine, two thousand seven SPX sweet card. Print run two ninety-nine there. It's the back, same photo on the back. I think there's two of these. <clears throat> A couple nines on these, solid. Is this the base refractor? Yeah. PSA 9 uh, Bowman Chrome refractor. Joe Thomas. I was looking for a 10 on this. 
And since it's such a low end card, I, th I thought it was a 10 when I sent it in. Here's Calvin in a nine. That's just your tops draft pick, kind of like a score, you know, that level of uh, value. This is sweet. The ultimate collection to 99. Mint nine on this one. The autograph's actually centered too, which is tough to find on these sometimes. And there's also sometimes glue on the autos right here. It's for some reason, like little glue, you, you can kind of peel it off, but it's strange. Um, okay, the Peterson, um, the 07 Bowman Chrome Auto. Midnight on that one. Continuing on. Start off with Kurt Schilling Donruss. Looking for nines on these. Um, if I get a 10, that's cool too. <laughs> we'll see what happens though. A nice solid mint nine to start off. Mint nine. This one got an eight. The right to left's kind of rough on that one. It's it's a it's a pack fresh clean card, but I think the right to left was just a little too much. It's probably more eight five range. Nine. And nine. Another nine. So I you know, I I think a nine the value on a nine is like twenty to thirty five, twenty somewhere in that range, so I mean if if you're getting a decent rate, it's worth it. If you're paying a you know twenty bucks a grade, it's not really worth it. But <clears throat> here's one from a box set with the top traded Griffey. Uh, Viscal, kind of hoping for tens on this these uh, Omars, but this one got a nine. The top to bottom's not perfect on this one. Um, Dion. A couple of these, couple nines. Here's Ricky Henderson. Uh, Randy Johnson got an eight five. Nolan Ryan. That one's dead centered. So, grader's kind of tough on these, in my opinion. Here's a Bowman, Bowman Bonds. Griffey Bowman. Smoltz Fleer. Uh, Bo Jackson player. Here's some Griffey Fleers. Um, this is, yeah, this is just the base Fleer. Got an eight. That's a strong eight. It's like almost 50 50 centering from right to left. Um, glossy. It's off-center right to left. Uh, a lot of these glossies are off-center pretty bad right to left, but this one, you know, you can just you can just see it. But this one got a nine. That's sweet. I'm I'm almost positive I I pack pulled this one. Um and I thought it had a good chance at a nine, so glossy griffy and a nine. That's like a seven hundred dollar card, I think, now. Not pack pulled, but I I pulled it from a box set. 
so a, a bunch of nines. It's just like I mean, you uh, you send in the pack fresh cards, and you just hope for some luck on the grades. It's not like it's just I don't know. I've, t I've talked about this a lot, but a lot of the tens I get sometimes probably should be nines, and a lot of the nines I get should be tens, and it's just the flipping back and forth game. If you know, if you get a grader that gives you some. <laughs> A nicer grader. Um, Canseco, the rookies. These were I. I broke a bunch of these sets. I probably broke over fifty of these sets. Um, just looking, you know, there's Bo, Canseco, Bonds. They gave this a ten. Um, so I mean, just let's be realistic about these two cards. <clears throat> I mean, they're they're identical. So that that's just what I'm saying here. So. But that label makes all the difference, right? <clears throat> this is cool. So we're we're into the early '80s stuff. I mean, <laughs> this card I uh, bought a, f a set a set that somebody just had in a box, and I've sifted through all the cards, and this was it was tough. Like I didn't find hardly anything that looked decent. That Brett looked pretty good. Uh, McGuire, probably a bunch of eights on these McGuires, and I don't think the eight has much value. I know a nine's like 150, 175, but I, I think the eight's still like 30, 40 bucks, which, you know, it's not that impressive. This one got a nine, though. That's sweet. And during the summer, these got hot. Um, I think raws were going like 30 bucks, and now you can get them for like 10 or 15. But um, yeah, yeah, this one is nice. Damn, two nines. Ten's out of the question. Ten's not gonna happen. This is kind of like the uh, Gwyn '83 tops. It's just not gonna happen. A solid eight, and that one's you know decent centering. Definitely something that I've improved on is centering. I I, I don't know why, but I used to not pay. I wasn't strict enough with it. And this is another eight that's got a fantastic centering. So I mean, the uh, eye appeal on this eight is great. It's the nicest eight ever. Here's another eight. See that one centering isn't isn't as good. So I mean, if you if you were looking to buy between these two, you, if you were a uh, centering guy, then you definitely want the first one I just showed. So there's an eight on that. Um, this would be a nine, an eight. Okay, that's not very good. Donnie baseball eighty five tops. I was looking for a nine. I'll I'll throw that in auction though. Um, Eric Davis. This is cool. A nice centered Eric Davis PSA nine from eighty five. Damn, I think this card's approaching 90 bucks now. Your uh, Clemens in a nine. And they, and these were just all like, you know, I would buy a set here, a set there. I'd buy some raw, raw lots, and you just have to sift through them because most of the cards are sixes and sevens. Um, an eight. And that, the color is a little more faded on this one, so I think you got to take that into account. Third one is an eight, so not bad and that one's got more of the faded color as well let me see Barry Bonds update There's a couple of these and these just come you know straight from the box set and these have this uh, edge chipping on this side I don't that's just the way they were cut and uh, this one's got the little edge chipping and it's off centered. So, I mean, it's not out of the question that that's an eight. Eric Davis, rookie. We got Clemens. Damn, they gave this a nine. That's sick. Clemens, 85 Fleer, and a nine. And then uh, Ryan Sandberg, 85 Fleer in a nine. Close out with another Mac. So I think we got a couple nines on the Max, which was pretty cool. And then there was a Clemens, 85 tops, that also got the nine. Next up.
Brady Holtzer in here. Looks pretty good on the back. Got an eight. Two thousand finest refractor. Um, Pujols. That's the star rookie. Second eight. This one got a nine. Here's a Bowman, um, eight five on this Bowman. That's a good looking card, wow. That looks nicer than a lot of my nines. A little edging on the front, not 50-50 centering, but for an 8.5, that's awesome. Here's a second pool, so this one got an eight. Let's look at the back corners. Yeah, a lot of the nines have this, this, this edging. And it's I've seen some nines with a lot worse edging than this one, so. And an eight, so. I mean, an, an eight's definitely got more value than raw, so it's not a total loss. It's not great. Um, th th this is a tough grader. You can just tell the uh, rhythm of the cards. Like cards like this on a different grader would probably get a 10, like a card like this. Fleer Tradition Bonds, um, Ichiro. That's good though, nine. Mint nine on the Ichiro. That's 2001 Fleer Tradition. Here's the MVP. Um, Fleer Premium, that's 2001, or it's a 1999. An 8, this will be a 9. Yeah, I can tell the rhythm of this grader. Woo! That's 2001 Tops, Chipper Jones, just a pack fold card. That's pretty good. Mint 9 on the E-Trail, 726. Cool image on that one. Uh, there's two of these. The second one got an eight. Here's a Breeze rookie watch. Dead centered, pretty much no chipping, and a nine. So, I mean, these are amazing nines. Um, LT tops, <clears throat> a nine. This is like somewhere around uh, a $100 card, though. That LT, there's probably another one. I gave this a 10. So, I mean, this greater was <laughs> tough until this card. Woo. Um, the LT tops flagship. I don't. This probably has some value. I'd say 400, 450. So that was a nice hit. Probably got that for raw five bucks. And then uh, the Ultra Moss in an eight. So um, kind of a rough box. <clears throat> See if we can get something going here. We went to the 89, so uh, some Griffey traded. Yeah, a bunch of them. <clears throat> Tony Gwynn, just a card I thought had a solid nine, outside shot at a 10, cards like this, you know. Donnie Baseball, nine. 
this set's pretty much impossible too. Is a bonds in a nine? Another nine bonds. Um, <laughs> Pete Rose, eighty-seven Donruss. This is just a pack full of card that I thought, you know, could could be a ten. Mark McGuire. <clears throat> That's that one is dead centered. Wow. That's a beautiful copy. Yeah, that's got right to left and top to bottom, which doesn't happen often with this set and doesn't have any chipping. So, I mean, this looks like a 10. That's a great card. Um, Mike, <laughs> that's terrible. Mike Schmidt in an 8. That's 87. Here's Bonds in an 8. I don't understand how I get 8s on these cards, honestly. It's just, uh,. Frustrating sometimes. Here's a nine. And another eight, so. Yeah. I just don't get it. McGuire update in an eight. That's the 87 Fleer update. Here's a nine. Nine. These are all from box sets, so um You know, I I broke a lot of the box sets and they're they're always off centered, so even it'd be tough to find a ten in these. Here yeah, so you get Maddox and you get Maguire. So here's here's Maddox eight five. Another eight five on the Maddox. Here's a nine. Okay, here's some Griffey traded. <laughs> no surprise here. Nines. A ten on this one. Look the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Bonds, Don Russ, nineteen eighty six, the rookies. Here's a 1987 Fleer and a 9. Palmero, the rookies, and an 8. Not the best centering. It's just tough. It's almost not even worth it to send that set in. It's just impossible because it's boxed up and it's in that uh, cellophane wrapper and the corner is just, uh, I don't know, it's just tough. This one's a little off center. It got a 9. Um, 86 update. I've been getting eights on these consistently lately. So the 86 update. Conseco an eight. Here's the bonds in an eight. This one got a nine. It's got better centering. These were all pulled from box sets. So nicer copies that I came across. This is an eight. It, it could be a nine on a different day. It's uh, see how the pirates is close to the edge there. If it was pushed down more. Um, decent example though. 
Here's Will Clark. So I don't know what it would take to get a 10 on this set, because I've actually had 10s on this set before, and I just saw flaws in them that I didn't understand the 10s, but here's a Clark. That's 50-50 centering, top to bottom, might be a smidge off, but um, gorgeous card. Here's Clark at an 8. Uh, seemingly identical to the last one we just saw. Um, King of Kings, Pete Rose from Donruss, 86. Here's Ozzy, 86, Donruss, and an 8. Here's a 9. Uh, Crime Dog, 8. eight five. This is the Leaf. The last one was down us. Here's the Leaf. Um, here's the Conseco. Yeah, these traded 86 are, are impossible. It's that little printing thing right there. And then the top edge has some chipping. Centering's not perfect, so. There's a leaf 86 and an 8. Here's Ozzy and a 9. And then Don Rest the Rookies um, in an 8. I'm going to snap these. I don't think these are 8, so. I'm not going to sit here and complain about the grades because I, I can just tell by the, the uh, rhythm of this order. This grade is way tougher. And, uh, I mean, these are, the, these are the nicer examples that I pull from the box sets. And I just know cards and I know condition and I know those aren't eights. They're nines. So I'll just snap them. I'm not going to get too worked up. Snap them, resend, get a different grader on them. They might have a rookie on them. Doesn't really know the cards. Uh, here's some newer stuff, so They tend to grade the new stuff a lot easier than the old stuff. Here's Yelich update in a 10 Not sure the current market on this. I would say 200 or 250 for a 10 Here's a second one um, Arenado Here's a second Arenado on a nine. It says the finest X Fractor. It's not numbered, but 2013 Anthony Rendon in a 10. Base Arenado on a nine. I got this in a pack, and I was like, I, I guess I'll grade it. It's not like a highly sought-after card. It's just a base of Manny Ramirez, but it looked like a 10. O 08 Bowman Chrome. Um, this is a Premier to 10, Charles, from Upper Deck Premier. This is the gold version, so it's numbered right there. That's pretty sick. There's a patch right there, so it says Casey, and there's two little football outlines there. Um... This is the paper one. Yelich paper in a 10. Second Yelich in a 10. These are all, I, I guess I went through a st stack of papers at one point. Um, here's a nine. Here's a paper 10. Paper 9. There might be like 10 of these. Sorry, guys. Another paper 10. 
So I mean, not an not an overly difficult set if it's centered and there's you know just check your corners and edges for little dings. Um, it shouldn't be the toughest one. I th I think I just ran into a lot of like I, I don't know I probably bought twenty or twenty five of them and they were just like really clean centered cards. So here's the Bowman Chrome. So the Chrome and a nine. And there's another <clears throat> there's another Chrome coming up. Here's a second chrome and a nine. And then uh, another update, Arenado. Moving on. Let's see, 2013 Bowman Chrome Draft, Nolan Arenado rookie. Um, There's a couple of these. Nine. Uh, this is the refractor. Pretty good shine on that, that pup. Refractor, nine. Refractor 9. This is uh, the base Bowman Chrome one. This is a 9 as well. Here's a uh, finest refractor. This one got a 10. Decent shine on that one. I don't. I don't think I love the the design with the little holes in the background or whatever the the, the dots. I, I don't think that's finest best design, but it's just an opinion. What's this one? This is the uh, Bowman or Topps Chrome Refractor. Pretty cool. That's a nine as well. Okay, there's probably a bunch of these. That's just the uh, Bowman Chrome base. These are typically off centered. <clears throat> Nines. Um, <laughs> this one got in one of these holders, but I was looking for a nine on this one. Thought it looked pretty good. Put it in this uh, thicker holder with an eight. So I'll, I'll put this in auction. This is a tough set, guys. Uh, the black cardstock, 8.5. Another 8.5 on the black. And then another 8.5, so. Here's a chrome. Bryce Harper Chrome and a nine. That's uh, not Bowman, but Bowman Chrome. Here's the, there's our few updates, a couple updates. This one got a nine. And this is like a uh, silver rainbow auto to, to 50, nine on the Wilson. Interesting card sneaking in there. This is more newer stuff. Um, Albie's paper, 2015 Bowman. Albie's Paper 9. This is Devers, just 20, this is just a Bowman Chrome from 2015 base. We've got a 10. Some Albie's Chromes. Uh, 
dead centered nine. Dead centered nine <laughs> to two fifty. Here's an orange one <clears throat> to 25. Oh, that's orange paper. That's a cool one. What's this one? This is the gold refractor. That's off center, so that makes sense. To 50 on the gold. There on the back, 13 or 50. That's a, that's a cool one, too. Um, paper. 14 draft. It's kind of weird how Devers and uh, Eloy are both in this set, but they weren't 2014 draft picks with MLB. Here's paper. Probably a $40 card. We'll see. This is the refractor. Definitely off center. Another refractor off center, top to bottom as well. Another nine. Chapman base in a nine. It's a little off center, right to left. Eloy base. Nathan McKinnon. This is the uh, Young Guns. It's got that pink right there. I mean, there's, I think there's two different versions. That pink shadow is on some of them. And then some don't have it. This is a big card now. When I sent it in, it was like around 100, maybe 125 raw. I, th I think they're like 500 raw now, which is nuts. But uh, here's the second one. So two nines on the McKinnons, and then uh, another refractor Devers. That one's a little off right to left. So it's it, this is just a, this is a strict grader. So there's not a lot of leeway leeway on stuff. This order, most borderline tens are going to be rounded down to nines, and then a different grader tomorrow could be tens. So that's the way it goes. That's it. I'll uh, continue on later. That's sweet right there. Pro set berry in a 10. Um, nice. <clears throat> a second 10 on the pro set. Dion pro set in a 9, which is actually like a $30 card at this point. I don't know if it'll sustain itself there. It might dip back to about 20 but... Who knows if these prices are here to stay on some of these. Um, there's a bunch of these Dion Pro sets. We'll just go through them quick. Nine, nine. And then nine. And a nine. So, I mean, if you're going to get nines, it's probably better to get them on Dion than Barry. So, a couple Barry tens. Here's your traded. Top straight in Dion in a nine. Those are pretty cool Falcons uniforms and helmets. I think that's blood on his sleeve. It almost, I'm not sure what that is right there. By Kind of by the elbow. Um, Biggio. That's the Donruss. This one got a 10. It's a little bit. A little different than the last one we saw, top to bottom. Um, John Smoltz. There's two of these. John Smoltz, nine. Dead centered right to left and perfectly centered top to bottom. See that line on the back? <clears throat> Could could be that. Here's McGuire. Schmidt. Schmidt gets a ten.
Ozzy Smith in a 10. This is a, this is a pretty tough set, actually. Canseco. Crime Dog. Little hot streak here with these. Wade Boggs in a 10. These are tough. Probably two nines on these, yeah. Diamond Kings, for uh, whatever reason, 89 and 87s are the ones I usually submit. I don't think I've ever gotten a 10 on them. I think it's the top to bottom center and just doesn't ever work out. So those are fair. I don't think I'll send the Diamond Kings anymore. It's just impossible. Let's keep going. Jump into 2015, 2016 stuff. Rainbow Foil, Francisco Lindor in a 10. Probably a decent card right there. Some Vlads. These are uh, the, the Prospect Scrum. Couple nines. Nine again. Here's Bichette. These are often chipped on the back. <clears throat> this one got a ten. a lot of these geez three more Pr pretty good pretty good run there on the Bichettes um, Robles 14 of 50 Here's a Devers paper. I think we saw these earlier in the order. But Devers paper and a 10. Some more of these. Couple papers. Um, Albies, the prospect auto in a 9. Nine on the prospect auto. Paper. Another paper. And a third paper. And then I think there's one more. Uh, Prospect Auto over here. Let's grab it. This one got an eight, so not too good there. Nineteen ninety two Fleer Shack. Mint nine. Another Fleer Shack from ninety two. Uh, traded 89 top traded Griffey in a nine this one got a 10 uh, this, is, this is a tough set to find uh, centered well enough to, to, to get a 10 I think those shacks were just off centered but um, Alonzo morning in a 10 so 92 Fleer Alonzo in a 10 um, another <laughs> I mean these were all pulled from packs but Ultra rejectors Shaquille O'Neal insert mid nine on that 
And then I think there's a base ultra. Yeah, base ultra and a nine. I don't know what the value is on this. Maybe 60, 70 bucks at this point. Probably not the best photo on the ultra. 92 tops, Pippin in a 10. Rated rookie Piazza, 93 Donruss. That would be a second year Piazza, 9. Um, it's not 50 50 centered. So, Bagwell, score 9. I mean, obviously, a car like this, I thought it was a 10 or I want to send it. Would not have sent it in if I got a 9. I mean, that's that happened a lot in this order. Just lots of 9s. I, th I think a lot of the time. The, the card is truly like a 9.5 and depending on the grader they'll round up or down and I, I this grader just rounded down on stuff which I mean it's the way it goes sometimes 93 tops Jeter and a 9 but I mean if, if the card doesn't deserve a 10 I, I don't really want a 10 I just want the cards graded fairly which would be sh should be everybody's <laughs> want um 93 this is a decent card i think it's 400 400 450 bucks but uh just i pulled it in a pack it looked great 93 fleer jordan base in a 10 so um that's that's one of the better cards in the order i'd say barry i was looking for a 10 on this um 93 fleer base that's a, that's a cool action photo though a Rod opened up a couple factory sets, pulled the A Rods out. They looked like, you know, strong nines, chance at 10 cards. They both got nines. So the Fleer Update 94, which uh, is a horizontal photo. Cool card, though. Barry Bonds 91 tops and a nine. Cards like this, you know, I'm, I'm sending these in. It's not cheap to grade. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty confident in them be intense but Bowman 91 is really really has my number see that's a little off centered from right to left but I mean these are straight from the pack this one got a 10 Kenny Lofton in a 9 There's a Tomei. Bonds gets a nine. And Sosa gets a ten. Which I, that's probably a pretty low pop on Sosa. He just doesn't have that the hobby love like other players. Uh, okay, I'm gonna show you these Frank Thomases. Let me let me try to pull them out. All right, I'll I'll show them all in all in order. So I was looking through this order. I was like, okay, so this one got a ten, and it's got like this ruffling on the top right corner. So I think it should be a nine, but then that's the thing, guys. I mean, these cards, the way they flip back and forth. Like I thought this was a nine when I sent it, but then uh, one of these is just great. I think it's this one, yeah. This is one I thought was a 10. So this card looks better than that card. I mean, you, you just can't question it. This card looks better. All the corners are sharp. The centering's awesome. Um, you know, th this is a better card than that card. This has the wrong label on it. Not the wrong label, but a label that'll make it sell for a lot less. But I'm going to keep this one. I, know, I don't know if I'll snap it out and resend it. I mean, I probably couldn't get a 10, but... We'll see. And then this one is a 9. It's not centered right to left as nicely. So, I mean, this is deserving of a 9. But that last Frank should be a 10 all day long. Canseco. <clears throat> Sosa. I mean, it's just, it's just tough. I need, like, AI or a computer to grade these. Sosa, this is the 89 ML debut, but it's a 1990 issued card in the Rangers uniform. That's a weird photo. That got a 9. I think these, the Griffey got a 9. This is uh, the ML debut. Same set. I 
think I popped open a factory set of this, or just a uh, sealed set, and they both look good. Chipper, I'm sure these will be nines. Chipper Bowman's, that's got some white snow in the background. Definitely doesn't deserve a 10. And then this one, a little off center, so I don't think those deserve it. Sandberg, 91 Bowman. But, I mean, in the future, with the price increase, I mean, I, I won't be sending these cards in anymore. Here's the Diamond Kings Griffey. I, I've never gotten a 10 on this card. I've gotten, like, 29s, though. Diamond Kings Griffey. Uh, so is the Star Rookie. I, I think they gave a couple 10s on these. So a couple 10s on the Sosa Star Rookie. There's a 9. And then a Griffey Don Russes. These were... I mean, this has a low pop. I think it's under 200. So, I mean, they're not just going to give a 10 out. But I think I... Yeah. Pulled all these from back. Some I mean, of these were the, the nicer examples that I pulled. That one's off-center. This one looks really good. This bottom at, bottom border might need to be just a little fatter. That might be why. It's it's that or pop control on a couple of these. Um, this one's really nice too. And then this one. The, see these these two bottom corners are not not good enough for a ten. So I think two of those would probably be deserving of close to a ten. <clears throat> Eight five on the ninety eight Ultra Series two Moss. Champ Bailey Fleer Tradition rookie in a nine. There's a pack pulled pup. This is probably a decent. There's probably a decent market on this in a nine because this uh, Revolution ninety eight is tough. So this Peyton in a nine is very respectable. Sabathia traded, top traded nine. Soriano, don't know what's going on with there with the surface. Strange nine. Uh, Jeter gets a nine. Bowman Chrome. Bagwell gets a nine. I mean, this is just cards that you send in and you. <laughs> kind of need a 10 on it I mean you you, you do need a 10 on it I mean I'll, I'll put it in the store and it'll sell for six or six or seven bucks but that's pretty much the grading fee Delgado refractor pack pulled this one it looked good Sabathia Sariano Edge Edge MVP gets a ten. That's that's the base one, and then Showcase two thousand Griffey gets a ten. I don't know if this set's tough like the football. You know the set that has uh, Brady in it. It seems like tough foil, but I don't I don't think it's as hard. I'll have to check the pop on this Griffey. Maybe it's a decent card. Uh, second year Sabathia Bowman Chrome base and a ten. Nothing too crazy with that card. Teen Idols Griffey in a 10. Low end insert. Pedro in a 10. These all came from the same box. I broke a box of 2000 Bowman Chrome last summer. Piazza 9. I think that border's too thin on the left. Tops Chrome Moss in a 9. Top to bottom is not perfect. And then score 98 is tough. But Peyton in the 9. Ultra. Ultra Series 1 Moss 9.
Joey Bell, 1990 score. Albert Bell to most people. Uh, black and white bows. These are just pack fold bows that I got in boxes. They look like nines or tens, so I sent them. Uh, it's commonly referred to as the black and white bow, but um, that's McGuire Donruss. These these 1990 Donrusses are <laughs> pretty much impossible to get tens on. Tough set. <laughs> As I say that Ripken, I think the Donruss needs to be closer to the top. See how that Maguire is pushed down? It's, I mean, it's very slight, but with cards like this, it's just, it's that much of a challenge. That might be why some of them sell for so much. You know, it's like that Ripken's, to what, 25 cents raw, 10 cents, but somebody might pay 50 bucks for that card. Crime Dog should be Hall of Famer soon, but here's his 1990 Don Russ and a 9. Ricky Henderson and a 9. Uh, Donnie Baseball 9. Juan Gonzalez, that's the uh, base version, not the the uh, reverse negative left-handed one. So that's a 9. Um, I think they're all 9s. Roger Clemens 9. Dave Winfield. Outstanding athlete. Here's his 1990 Fleer. Definitely easier than the Don Russ, the Fleer. Tommy, Glavin. Uh, Sandberg. 1990 Fleer. He's an 89 traded Deion Sanders in a 9. Yeah, it's off center right to left. Definitely shouldn't be a 10. Great card, though. I, th I think that's close to $100 in a 9, which is nuts. Um, Derek Thomas. Much less hobby value for this one, but still. At the uh, rate I paid for this back in, you know, back when I submitted this, I mean, most of these cards are worth it. Some of those 1990 Don Russes in a 9 are pretty much cards I'll, are, I will sell for the price paid for the submit. You know, if the grading fee was 7 or 8 bucks. That's what the card's probably going to go for. Derek Thomas, um, not 50-50 centered, 60-40 or 55-45 right to left in a 10 for the traded. Barry Sanders score, a respectable 9. I, I think this card's over 200 and a 9. I, I'm almost positive it's like 1,500 and a 10 now. But I don't know if those prices were just temporary. Um, Leaf, you know, that, that right to left's pretty rough, so that's not the best example to send in. So I definitely deserved an eight on the Thomas. Um, this one's better, definitely. This one got a nine. This is sweet. So I don't even know how I came across this card. I, th I think I just bought it raw or I opened up one. I, th I think I tore up on my uh, starting lineup. I <laughs> think that's why I got this card. Um, but it... It looked good, so I sent it in. The 1990 starting lineup blue. And then there's another black and white bow um, in a nine. Nines, have, nines are going up in the hobby though, so I mean, it's, nines are okay on a lot of these uh larry walker that's the 1990 fleer rookie at the batting cage or something it's an interesting photo here's a sammy sosa in a 10. sosa fleer i don't know the value on this i'd say 50 bucks That's cool. Three pack pulled Sosas. Uh, Griffey 1990. This will be an auto nine. This is a tough card. 
This one doesn't deserve it. That top right corner. It just doesn't look like a 10. All of them have that little red dot on his elbow. I don't know what that's about. It's just like a printing thing. But um, this is a sweet card. Cause it's got the cup on it. So a 9. I'll, I'll put that in the store in some facet. Some more Thomases. Dead centered beauty. The right to left's 50 50. Top to bottoms. Within tolerance. Let's look at the back. Corners. Sharp. This could easily be a 10. Probably keep that in the PC. It looks like a 10. And then um, this one. That one's not as good right to left or top to bottom. Pudgy. His tops traded 91. And I, I, I actually sold his Bowman, Bowman rookie in a PSA 10 for like 390 bucks, which I thought was crazy. I put it in auction. I was thinking maybe $100, and that's what it sold for. So... I think that sell was outside of the norm, though. I don't know what happened. Here's a Dave Winfield, 1991 tops. So they have the uh, 40 years for the 91, and now they have, of course, the 70 for 2021. Classic best 91, Chipper Jones. Tough set here. 91 Fleer, Frank Thomas. Chipper, 91 Upper Deck. This is the uh, Upper Deck Award winner hologram of Jordan. This was, this was just out of a pack. I thought it looked, it looked good. It's got cool shine. Provisions. Um, I actually got a 10 in, in the last order on this one. Th this one looks good. The right to left, top to bottom looks... I don't think the top to bottom is perfect. Um, the Rookies, Manny. Pedro. Another Pedro. Classic best 92 chipper. I got a Pinnacle 92 Maguire, like a card like this. I mean, you're kind of looking for a 10 on it. And then uh, Bo Jackson got a 10 on the Fleer. Probably keep this in the PC. So that's a cool photo with the uh, powder. But, I mean, it's consistent. Like, I'm, I've got it down to where I, I, I pulled the cleanest cards from the packs. And then cards I think have shots at 10s I send in. If not, I guess they get 9s. There's not a lot of 8s in this order. Um, Donnie Baseball, Donruss. These are tough. And I don't think this grader is going to give me, give out any gimmies. So, like, that's beautiful. And this one got a nine, so I don't know. Right to left's on point. Top to bottom's on point. Um, that's a great copy. Keep that one. This one's beautiful, too. Yeah, there's not much more you can do. You pull it straight from the pack. Um, and send it in and hope for the best so it doesn't always go your way uh, Griffey Upper Decks this one got an 8 this is tough, tough card this one got a 9 Baseball's best Sosa. Griffey. I'm 
I'm shocked that they gave a 10 on this card. It seems like one they wouldn't, no matter what. Um, I mean, yeah, it looks nice. It probably looks a little nicer than, than the last one, but a 10 on the baseball is best. I think there's some Fleer Glossies coming up, yeah. I uh, opened up a sealed set of Fleer Glossies and picked out the best ones. Um, Craig Bezio. Edgar Martinez. That's a nice copy, geez. Nolan Ryan. Barry Bonds. Wade Boggs. Ryan Sandberg, they're all nice. <laughs> Here's some Donruss Griffies. This is shabby, but that one's not that great. The right to left looks pretty crappy. This card's like 30 and an 8, though. So an 8. Um, here's a 9, slightly better. Another eight. Kurt Schilling. Mid nine. And mid nine. Ninety six Pinnacle Berry. A five Ogden with the Pinnacle in the nine. Okay, there's a bunch of these, but ninety seven best. Bought a lot of them. They all looked pretty good. I thought they had chances at 10s. It just depended on the mood of the grader. And uh, I guess <laughs> he thought these were all 10s. So 97 best Beltre card number 21. Five 10s. This has a refractor line. So 97 Bowman's best Atomic International Refractor. I think this is... Uh, Kind of like a preview, too. These 97 Fleers, I just pulled them in a pack. That's a little white on that corner, though. So that one's shabby. Um, not very impressive at all on these Fleers. Jeter gets an 8.5. It seems like an easy set because I've graded the uh, David Ortiz from uh, 97 Fleer before, but these did not. <clears throat> I thought these. I'll, I'll be honest, th these last two I thought were easy 10s. Griffey, uh, McGuire, 97 tops. Probably a decently low pop on this one. So McGuire in a 10, 97 tops. This is the rookie cup, Jeter in a 9. Sweet strokes. And this is... Uh, A PSA 10. So that, that's kind of a, de a neat one. Sweet Strokes, 97 Frank Thomas. Uh, 97 Bowman's rough. I mean, it's just a tough set. I mean, th this is a beautiful copy, too. So I don't really know what else. <clears throat> Maybe if it was pushed down just a tad, but it looks like a 10 easy. Uh, Ricky Henderson, 94 upper deck base. 
clear update a ron 94 the second one there might be a third value on this i would say 150 to 200 on the update there's a third one this one's a nine these were just pulled from uh, factory sets Ninety four chipper. I think he played with the Braves in ninety three, didn't he? Yeah, eight games. And he tore his knee in ninety four or something. Didn't play until ninety five again. <clears throat> ninety six, um press proof bronze man ram in a ten. That's sweet. That'll go into the uh, Manny collection. You sort these piles out. Big card right here, the Iverson flagship tops in a 10. Bought a couple of these for five bucks and uh, sent them in. 10 on that one. The second one got a 10 too, which was awesome. Marvin Harrison, 96 Pinnacle. Mid 9, we've got Peyton Manning, uh, 98 Bowman. There's a couple of these. This one got an 8. A 9. And the third one got a 10. So 8, 9, and 10. This is pretty neat. Uh, 98, fi 98 Finest Refractor, Vlad Guerrero, Vlad Sr., and a 10. David Ortiz, that's the 98 Bowman Chrome second year card in a 10. <laughs> pack pulled Mickey Mantle. I don't know. It looked like a 10. I got it in a pack. I, f I figured I'd send it in. It's probably a decently low pop. I don't know. Watch this card will sell for like a hundred bucks. <clears throat> 98 Bowman can be tough. Here's David Ortiz. It says rookie card. Um, probably They're probably saying it's his first Bowman because he does not have a 97 Bowman base, but it's not really a rookie. The Griffey and a 9. I think these, these are all going to be 9s, but I mean, they were centered. I didn't see chipping on the black, so I, mean, I don't know what else. What could be better about them? Chipper. Jimmy Rollins. Here's a Halliday. This one got an 8.5 randomly. Uh, Vlad. Vlad Sr. 97 Bowman Chrome Base in a 9. Aramis Ramirez. It's off-centered. But he was a good player, so... Interesting card and then Pedro Which I thought would be a 10 when I sent it in So kind of a rough stretch there. I Don't know this 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 order was a little uh, Frustrating just I don't know I Feel like the quality of card I sent in is pretty much the same or on par with the last 500 and the last 500 was way better um, Flare, 94 Flare, Wave of the Future 2, and a 9. This is neat. 95 Upper Deck, this is the Electric Diamond Gold. Manny in a 9. Pack full Jeter, that's cool. Star Rookie, although it's a third year card, but still it says Star Rookie on it. That got a 10. Chipper gets a 9. Those right, those two probably came out of the same box, too. This is the artist proof. So I came across these, I think, on ComC or something. And, you know, they didn't look like 10s, but they looked like they could probably be 9. So I just wanted to add them into the Manny uh, set registry. So 
sentiment. This is the mere gold in an eight, so not too impressive. Still an awesome shine on that though. 95 leaf. Um, I'm, when I send a card in like this, I'm thinking of 10. Ninety-five flare, which pretty much all of them have light scratching on the back, so I didn't know if they would just give it a nine or they give this one a ten. There's another one, and they gave this one a ten, so doesn't hurt the card much. The scratching. This is just the choice choice se base in a nine. Here's an interesting one. Uh, Hot Numbers Shack. It's got like that sports flicks looks to it. It's kind of cool. 8.5 on this one. This is probably a pretty big card. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look it up after the video. But interesting. 95 Finest Jeter. So uh, another 30 year Jeter. This one gets a 9. 96 Donruss A-Rod. Again, thinking 10 when I sent that in. This too, this is dumpster diving. At least it got a 10. Whew, that is dumpster diving. I mean, I all respect to Edgar, but he just doesn't have the, the hobby love that he probably deserves. But a 92 Ultra Edgar, you, you better get a 10 on that. Delgado, nine, 92 Bowman, Carlos Delgado rookie. Just not a ton of value in a nine, maybe 15, 20 bucks. Um, but I do think he'll have a chance at the Hall of Fame down the road. If you look at his numbers, he's he's definitely a fringer. Jordan, um, 92 Jordan in a nine. That thing is dead center. It's a really good centering for this set. If you, if you guys ever break it, beautiful. And the 92 Fleer. That's a little off top to bottom. This is a, another slam dunk in a nine. And then we've got a Shaq rookie. Um, probably be a nine. Yeah, it's off. It's not perfect. It's not good enough to be a 10. Shaq in a nine. And then um, McGuire. That's sick. 95 best red refractor in a nine. That's crazy. Every card got graded. I've, I don't think I've ever had that happen. But <laughs> they are a uh, low end card, so I don't think people are trimming some of the cards I send in. Yelich uh, in a nine Bowman Chrome draft. Uh, in the past, I used to get tens on these all the time, but I think they tightened it up when they on that card on the uh, centering. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely off. It doesn't deserve it. This is neat. This will be a 2015 Topps Chrome Gold Refractor in a ten. Heritage Minor League Albies from 2015 in a 10. Last box of the whole order. Oh yeah, this is a fun box. It's the, the oldest stuff. This is probably the most, the, my favorite box in the order. 73 tops, so I'm kind of glad it, it's going last. So yeah, th this order wasn't like an chronological order I just didn't feel like sorting it out and that's kind of how I collect them pretty random dude but six I mean I'll be buying 2021 stuff then I'll be going looking at 50s baseball cards I just like to collect it all um, Winfield <clears throat> I think this was an SGC 7.5 or 8 that I thought looked like you know, it could be a PSA 8 or 8.5. Um, 
God, it's it's a nice copy. There's a little white on the top right corner, so it's definitely not. One, I wouldn't consider it mint, but that is definitely undergraded. 76 tops, Winfield. Yeah, I mean that's the thing with when I look at these, I'll I'll tell you when they're overgraded and when they're under. Most channels will only say when they're undergraded and they're complaining. Eddie Murray, this was just uh, I don't know what. Oh, I th I got it in a pack. I was like, oh, it looks like a ten. It's got a chance. It got a nine. Eighty one Fleer. Same deal with the Aussie. The Aussie looked good. Or you know what? It wasn't a pack. It was from a set. I bought a sealed set. This might be because the picture is blurry. That's probably why it's an eight. I don't know if they're all like that, but it's an an early Aussie Smith card. I thought it was an interesting card. And then the Ripkins are cool. Eighty two Donruss Ripkins. The patented uh, Ray Liotta rookie card in a nine. Very respectable with the nines. And then a second nine. Eighty two Donruss Henderson. This was uh I don't remember how I came across this one, but it's just got great centering. George Brett, dead centered, uh no chipping. I thought this would be a shoe in ten. Here's a Gwen. This is like a three hundred and fifty dollar card right now in a nine. Um just bought these raw for fifteen bucks or so. These Gwens, um, I, I probably bought 30 of them and sent three in. That's just, it's tough. Here's a second one. Um, I mean, they, they look like nines. They look like they're graded accurately. This one's, that's a nice one. Yeah, they all look pretty good. This one's off top to bottom. This is sick. This card's got to be worth something now. In a nine, maybe 300. It could be more, maybe less, but pulled from a uh, set that I bought. I just bought a set and went through the whole set, picked out the best card. This was, <laughs> I guess, this is the only one I sent in with this order. 84 Donruss. Um, Puckett, 85 Donruss in a nine. Just a tough set. This Doc Gooden look, looked great. It's a blazer. And then this card I thought I thought was a ten, but it's like a little tiny corner imperfection, so sweet card here. Eighty four Fleer update Clemens and a nine. This was snapped from an SGC nine, I think. I thought it may be outside shot, but I don't think that centering is good enough. Yeah, it's not. And then the last card of the order. Let's go to 1980, still in 85. One of the better, cooler players from the old days. Kirby Puckett, 85 Fleer. Um, I was stoked to get a nine on this. I, I got this from a factory set. Not sealed, but he just sold me the whole set and I went through. Always fun to go through cards and look for the hidden gems. Not really a hidden gem, but it's a card that you definitely want to grade if it looks decent. So, um... That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will get it uploaded with some prices.